It's Mohim for Boxing Domination and today I'm joined by a superstar in Hamza Chowdhury here at the Fury and Garnu. First of all, Hamza, how you doing? Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Amazing to be here and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I think it's an amazing amazing event for an amazing event that's going to happen in Saudi. So, so um, what makes you come to the Fury vs Garnu presser and how do you see this fight going? Uh, I'm a massive boxing fan. I watch boxing from for ages. My uncle uh, invested me in every sport, uh, but also I've recently, more than the last five years, I've watched a lot of UFC, so I've watched Sengana's career come through, I've watched the Fury's career come through, so sport fighting in general, or combat sports maybe, should I say in general, is a massive um, hobby for me, uh, but I still think that um, Fury will probably have the upper hand, we've seen MMA MMA fighters go over or try and translate their skills over into the boxing ring and I think it's very difficult you know boxers train from the age of 10, 9, 8 as every as every sportsman do and, and they're very good at what they do so I think it'll be difficult for him but like you say he holds massive power whether the power um, translates into boxing we'll see. And uh, do you think he actually has a puncher's chance because I personally am very skeptical of uh, and Garner actually even landing a punch on Fury. So do you think he can actually do it? <laughs> if he does, you know, can Fury pull off? I think everyone everyone has a, uh, a fighter's chance. He's obviously a very, very a skilled uh, combat artist. But like you say, it's, it's difficult, man. Fury is um, one in a million. Uh, the skills that he holds is, as a heavyweight is yet to be seen, you know. He's so light on his feet for such a big man. He almost towers over Engan even in there. Um, so he's not got the size advantage, he's not got the power advantage, I'm, 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 from what I can imagine. Um, so Engan is obviously got to be wary of what's coming back at him. And uh, like you say, hitting a, uh, hitting a moving target is very difficult. So we'll see. Uh, I'm very skeptical, but uh, like you say, the more luck I say is that he's got a fight chance and he's shown what he can do in the UFC. And in the football sense as well, you went from Leicester City to Watford, I believe, on loan. I personally don't watch football. I mean, I try my best to. Yeah. Um, but one thing I know is you're the current and only Bangladeshi footballer uh -huh. that's playing top league football. Uh -huh. um, what, you know, does that put any pressure on you, by the way? <laughs> no, not for me personally. Uh, I've said in many, many other interviews when I was growing up trying to be a footballer, uh, my family pushed me to just do, uh, just to enjoy doing what I love, you know, and I do love football down to my core. Um, and I just love doing it every day, and I never really put that pressure on me. Maybe people might look at it, I've been put in the spotlight a little bit more in, in more recent of years uh, with that um, tag, I guess. But no, but it's more for me, it's, it's proud, the uh, message that I get and the love that I receive from the Asian community, especially and especially the Bengali community, actually, is amazing for me and drives me forward, so no, no pressure. I'm going to keep it very short. Um, we had Akin Fenwell here earlier, Rio Ferdinand as well. Akin Fenwell was actually talking about fighting Rio Ferdinand in a boxing match. I think it's, uh, I think it's, um, in boxing it's probably a bit of a mismatch. But I think in MMA it's different as well. Yeah, for sure. How do you see that going if they ever do? I mean, you know, it's a fantasy fight, isn't it? It is very much a fantasy fight. We don't know what skills either of them hold, what training neither of them had. Weight-wise, definitely a bit of a mixed match. But uh, obviously Rio's from um, London, so you can never... But someone like him, Dan, he's obviously can handle himself. And I can find my bio is a massive guy. Uh, obviously, also knows how to hold himself. Listen... Like you say, it's fantasy. We'll see if that if that kind of thing happens. We'll see. But also, it'll be entertainment. We live in an entertainment business and an entertainment society that whatever entertains the people will will bring in money. So we'll see.